Hey guys, it's your girl Shady Lane Twenty One Twenty One coming at you with a quick uh, video. Well, maybe it's not quick because I've never made this before, so I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, I saw a recipe, but of course, you know, I I have to change it up, and I can't follow directions because that's just not how I roll. So I'm gonna make some uh, chicken enchiladas, some creamy chicken enchiladas. Never made them before again. So yeah, so anyways, let's get started. I've got a chicken that I put in the crock pot last night, so it's all shredded up, just fell apart. Um, I also put some chicken breast in there just for extra meat. Um, and the recipe calls for cream of chicken soup. I'm going to use a can and then some sour cream. I'm going to use about a cup, a little bit of milk, um, and then I'm going to use green chili sauce on top. And of course, cheese, green chilies, and we're going to use flour tortillas instead of corn tortillas, which is not traditional, but you know. Um, also, this is not a healthy recipe, obviously, with all the cheese and stuff, um, but I'm just not worried about that right now. So, anyways, that's another video. So, I'm just going to go ahead and dump two cans of diced green chilies into the chicken. As such. So, uh, how's everything been going lately? How's your life? How you doing? How's everybody doing out there? Hope everyone is well. You know, I've been MIA, you know. You know me. You know me. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of mix that in. The green chilies with the chicken. Yummy, 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 yummy. Then we're going to take that cream of chicken soup and it's just Campbell's. And I'm wearing this hat because I'm just a hot mess right now. Hot mess. I need to bleach my hair right now. Hot mess to this. Just all hot mess to this. So I'm just going to mix um, about a half a can of milk in there. Like such. We're just going to give that a mix up there. Try to kind of do this quick. Of course I'll edit a lot of this out. Alright, so we got some sour cream. I'm going to put a cup of sour cream, just like that. Just ghetto. Didn't even... That's how we do it. I do stuff more by, like, look um, than anything when I'm cooking. Look, taste, feel, you know what I mean? You can look and see, okay, that's not thick enough, that's too thick. Yada yada enchilada. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix that up. Mixing it up. So um not worried about the calories because I'm in my off season from um, my figure competitions and basically all that means is I'm trying to increase my calories to increase my muscle. Um so I'm bulking. So I'm not too too worried about my calories right now. So once that's all nice and creamy, see that? We're gonna put that in with the chicken mix. And we're gonna put the in here. Eight flies. Mix all that creamy goodness in there. And I'm trying to do this quick because I'm trying to cook early, you know, because it's a school night. And then we're just going to mix all that in there together, like such. And obviously that's why we're going to call it 
creamy chicken enchiladas. And then I'm going to throw in some cheese because I like cheese. The recipe doesn't call for you to put cheese inside, but again, that's how I roll. How much cheese? Till it looks good. About half a bag, which is about, I think there's two cups to each bag in this one. So about half a bag I'm going to mix inside the filling. Now I just have two pans here, just some throwaway pans I got at Walmart. And then I have my little flour cookies, these are a medium size. size. So then, um, it is way Can you see? Can you see? You can see. Alright. So we're just going to take a scoop. of your filling there and you can be stingy or you can be generous you know depends on how many people you're feeding how many tortillas you got just like so and then just kind of roll it like a burrito and we're just going to set it in the pan like so so let me go ahead and I will roll these and get these pans filled and then I'll come back the next day. Alright peeps, I'm back. So I have rolled my enchiladas and I have three trays. I had to get another pan now. So I have three trays of enchiladas here. So I've got a lot of people in my family as y'all all know. So if we don't eat all these, it'll be perfect for lunch tomorrow. Um, I made a dinner schedule for the whole week. Because I haven't been cooking for a while because Clay's been a stay-at-home dad. So he's been taking care of all that. But now he started working since our daughter just started school today. So, here we go. I'm back to cooking. So, yeah, after like five years. Jesus. So, I made a little menu. So, tomorrow is shepherd's pie. So, depending on how much they eat, maybe they can eat these as like snacks when they get home from school. Or if there's a lot left, then they can eat it for dinner and then I'll just push the tomorrow's meal back to the next day or something. What else? So, anywho, now I'm going to go ahead and put the green chili sauce that I'm spilling all over my hand. Which is Las Palmas uh, green chili enchilada sauce. We're just going to kind of pour that on top of the enchiladas. Make sure I have enough. Oh yeah. And you just want to make sure you get them all nice and covered. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a good. Good looking. I'm a little off today, guys. Sorry. Crazy. Sleep deprived. So then we're going to go back with our craft cheese. Or whatever type of cheese you would like. And we're just going to cover our enchiladas here. Again, I don't have a measurement, just going by what it looks like, and we like it cheesy around these parts, you know? Ah! Hate bugs. It's been raining, and there's just flies everywhere. Ah. So we want to make sure we get these all nice. And cheesy on top. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I haven't done YouTube videos like this in a while, so I kind of feel crazy talking to myself right now, but you know. What else? YOLO! I still feel like that's not enough cheese for real, for real. Because I like cheese. I like cheese. I have another bag, but I think that'll be alright. 
So, we're going to put these in the oven, um, cover them up with foil, put them in the oven for about 30 minutes on 350 degrees. And let me see if you guys can see these beautiful things. You can see them, right? Maybe I can zoom in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So as you can see, they look all delicious there. Look at that. So we got three pans of goodness. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do, put them in, put oil on them, throw them in the oven, and then I will pop them out, show you guys the final product. So, I will be back in about 30, 35 minutes. Well, in your time, in about now. That was quick, right? Uh-huh. Power of YouTube. So, the enchiladas are done. Left them in there for about 35 minutes. Cheese is all melty. And I took a bite because I had to tell you obviously how they tasted. And they're freaking delicious. They are really, really good. Um, I'm going to make some Rosarita refried beans to go with it. Throw some sour cream on top. You can throw some more shredded cheese if you want. You can throw guacamole, salsa, whatever you want on top of it to garnish it. Um, you know, whatever you likey. But these are really delicious and so I'm sure the family will like them. So I hope this helps someone. Um, watching me being quirky, um, just thought I'd throw up another cooking video, so I will talk to you guys later, and make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Shigalene21, so I'll talk to you guys later, deuces.